Hello YouTube, this is Reno Dan, and this is my R3 review after about 15 months of ownership. Am I bored with the bike? No. Am I getting tired of the motorcycle? Nope. Is the motorcycle too slow for me? Nah, I'm going fast enough as you can see right here. I'm going probably too fast for the, this road, but it doesn't matter. It still brakes pretty well and the bike's great. Took it on a track day, had a lot of fun with it. I'm making this re review from a different point of view. You probably already heard the other reviews about people talking about specs and this and that and the weaknesses, which is all true, but you can make modifications, which I'll have it in the video showing you what I've done. Here I am overtaking a bigger bike, which put a smile on my face. The bottom line is, is this, the R3 will definitely track and it tracks well, it has a good chassis and it makes a really good track bike. And it doesn't matter if you have a 600 or a liter bike, or a 300, if you're fast, you're fast. And if you're slow, you're slow. I've been on 300 mile road trips. And the bike will do it just fine. I'm a bigger rider, so as 300 miles is my personal limit, not the bikes. The bike will do the freeway just fine. And I'm gonna have some freeway footage here showing you guys that I had plenty of RPMs left as we get on the freeway. Now, I'm right here I am <coughs> riding. You can see it flicks really easily. One of my favorite things about the R3 is how light it is and how well it maneuvers and how nimble it is and how I can get into tight spaces pretty easily. I don't know, the bike's just a joy to ride. And I never would associate the R3 with being bored. Now, if you're one of those type of guys that want to go like 140 miles per hour in a straight line, this isn't your bike. If you want to go fast in corners and, and be nimble and, and be a corner assassin, this is your bike. It all depends on what you want to do and how kind of rider you are. But for me, this bike's great because right here on the freeway, this is the least fun I have on any motorcycle, whether it's a Cruiser, an R3, a Harley, it doesn't matter. If I'm on the freeway, I'm not happy. I'm not happy going in a straight line. This isn't where my happiness is. This is just for me to go where the corners are at. This is where I want to go to go ride where it's going to put a smile on my face, not going 140 miles per hour in a straight line. The R3 definitely has enough acceleration for me to get up and keep up with other motorcycles. It's a good bike. So here I am in my, my happy place going through corners and I'm keeping up with my friend, Billy Ken over here. He's on a 500, I'm on a 300, but we're having a good time. Our bikes are evenly matched. He just has more torque than me, and we top out about the same speed. Final thoughts. No matter what motorcycle you, choose, you end up wanting to buy, whether it's a 300 or a 600 liter bike or a Harley, they all have their positives and negatives. Some bikes are really good to, for insurance. Some bikes cost way much money for insurance. Some bikes are not good for handling on corners, like some Harleys, they scrape on the floorboards and they can't go very fast because their tires are not good. Some bikes have better brakes than others. The bottom, the bottom line is this, no matter what bike you end up getting, it won't be perfect for every situation. It'll be good for some situations, like an R1 is good for the track, but a horrible city bike. Then you get an FZ07, which is a good all-arounder, but it's not great at any particular thing, it's just really good at what it does. The point I'm trying to make here is this, some bikes are what they are, you're going to have to deal with their positive and negatives, and the R3 is no different. It's a fantastic bike for what it is, and I think if you want to have the fun and go through corners, you'll have a good time. So here are my parts. So I have some titanium bolts on my bike, and I have Springer stainless steel brake lines, which is really cool. Everything I've done in this motorcycle was to make it better for me, right? So from the tires right here, from the Prelli Diablo Rosso 2s, with handling and braking, the hot body has really helped out with some weight reduction. My custom seat with two inch rise helped with comfortability and making the bike better. The Ninja 650 raised up the bike, made it more comfortable for me. And I had to get a kickstand modification. Then I got clip-ons that changed the seating position, which was fantastic, which I got more aggressive, which made the bike better. This right here is from my GoPro mount. It's made out of Delron, custom made. I have the R6 short throw, 
fantastic. Some more titanium right here to lighten things up and let me to free rev up. We put this modification right here in the hot body so when I go to tracks I can pull off the fuse and I don't have to tape up the rear lights and all my lights back there are done. Here are the graves. Yeah, my steering stops are in so I don't go as far right and left. Here's my green Predator oil. It's really high end oil. My, it's full synthetic. My bike loves it. I love it. As you can see right here, I'm a big guy on a little bike. That's me riding. My name is Rhino Dan. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys' time. This is my review of the R3. Thank you.